So far in the Oracle PLSQL tutorial, we have covered the concepts like procedures and functions. Now, if we have some multiple procedures and functions which are performing some related task, to group them all, we can go for the packages. So basically, package is another database object which is used to group the logical related subprograms. So here in the package, you can put multiple procedures, multiple functions, which are doing the related task means the task associated to a single thing. Now, do, it can be divided into two parts that is the package specification and package body. In the specification, you can just give the declaration or prototype of the functions and procedures you want to define inside it. So whatever functions and procedure you declare inside the specification of a package are the public constructs means anyone can access those particular functions and procedures. But if you want to create something private, you can just give the definition in the body. Like as I said, the package can be classified into two parts that is specification and body. So in the specification, we will just give the declaration but the definition will be given in the body. So in the body you must logically give the definition of all those constructs which are declared inside the specification. Along with that you can add the definition of some more functions and procedures if you want to make it private. When I say private that means one cannot call that function or procedure unless you grant the access. So packages cannot be itself itself cannot be invoked because packages are not performing anything. The functions and procedures inside them are doing something. So you can just call the uh, procedures and functions like we were already working with the dbms underscore output dot put underscore line for printing something. So in this context dbms underscore output is the package by a dot separator you can pass any function n or procedure name like put underscore line is the procedure which actually prints some message in the output. So again I will repeat like here there are two things specification where you declare the public things the body where you define public as well as private thing. You must define all the things which are specified, which are declared in the specification. You must define them all in the body. Along with that, if you want to define something private, some constructs privately like procedures and function, you can just define it inside the body without giving any declaration. Now, whenever you call the first element of the, of the package, it loads all the constructs of the package into the memory. As I just said, like it actually groups all the related subprograms like functions and procedures. So as soon as you will call one package, one procedure or function from the package, all the constructs will be loaded because it is expected like you may call some other related task, some other related procedure or function. So if everything will be loaded into the memory at the same time, then on the second call, by the second call onwards, you will get some performance benefits. So that is why whenever on the first call of the packaged block, packaged block means when you call any procedure or function for the first time in your execution. So the remaining things will also be loaded into the memory. So let's see practically how can we start working with the packages now. So in order to create the package first, first of all, I'll have to write the package specification. So here, as you can see, I have created a package with create or replace keywords and package as again a database object with the name manage employees. And inside this, I have passed two procedures with the name add EMP and edit EMP with a couple of arguments. So in this particular sample in example, I'm just considering I have an employee table with these two columns. So accordingly, you can take number of columns, number of parameters as per your number of columns. So let's execute this. So you can see package created. When it is saying package created, that means the specification of the package is created. Now I can create a body for this particular package. So let's create a body of this particular package. 
by writing create or replace package body all right as here it was a specification but I don't have to write specification here but here I'll have to write package body and inside this I have defined both the procedures like procedure add EMP and procedure edit EMP all right so here I have not written any code I've just printed a message as soon as you will invoke any particular uh, procedure you will get the message so let's create the body as well all right there is some error i guess let so for getting it i'll write show error so it's saying it's an a spelling mistake so i'll just rectify that all right here it's number and again here it's number all right so let's save it close it and execute it and you see package body created so in this way first of all we created the package specification and then we created the package body so now in order to invoke that since they are procedures I'll have to write execute then the name of your package that is manage employees and then name of the procedure or function since here I have used execute so I will call the procedure here with the name add EMP and I'll have to pass a couple of arguments that is the ID and the name so you see there's a message employee added all right as soon as you would have invoked it the other procedures and function of the same uh, package will be there loaded in the memory so that next time when you will invoke any particular method you may get a bad performance a benefit all right so here now I'll say edit EMP so you see employee updated all right so here obviously you're not getting uh, the performance benefit information but yes when you are good through the performance testing and when you will trace your particular events whatever going on then you will definitely find the performance benefit when you are using multiple objects of the same package so this is how you can start creating a basic Oracle database package along with the number of procedures or functions inside it.